Well, you know, Bill, it's another one of those, um, you know, uh, scheduling, you know, scheduling. It's been Cincinnati, it's been Michigan State, it's been Butler, and then it's Hampton. Um, Hampton's an awfully good basketball team. You know, they've been to back-to-back -back NCAA tournaments. They won 27 games last year. Um, they've got 10 juniors and seniors on that team right now. So they've got a lot of experience. Um, and they came in at, you know, 2-1. and one. Um, You know, their only loss was at Florida. You know, they'd already won at Pittsburgh. So um, it was a good basketball team. I knew we were going to have our hands full, um, you know, because we've got a young basketball team and we're battling some injuries right now. But for the most part, Bill, I was really, I was really proud of them. I, I was proud of the way we competed and the way we hung in there. And if you eliminate the last three minutes and 15 seconds from the first half, you know, we go toe to toe with them. You know, they just went on. You know, I think it was an 11-0 run in there. Um, you know, put yourself behind the eight ball at halftime. Um, but even there, being down 15 at halftime, we, you know, we called back and at least put ourselves in position that maybe we could make a run. Uh, it just didn't happen late. So um, good basketball team we got to be by. We learned from it, and then now we move on and get ready for conference play. Well, you know, it, 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 it's a fine line. You know, as a coach, you can either go out and schedule really good opponents and maybe take some losses and then think that that will toughen you up for conference play or you can go out and schedule nobody and win a bunch of games and think that that will get you ready. Um, we have decided to, to go make it tough and you know even though we sit you know right now two and four um, we put an awfully good schedule. Um, so what I think it does is it just prepares us. You know, South Dakota is a good basketball team. Uh, UMKC is a good basketball team. I'm not convinced they're as good as the teams we've played, though. So that being said, I mean, we still have to play well. But that being said, we should be prepared because we played awfully good competition up to that point with Hampton maybe being one of the best. I mean, I'm not convinced, Bill, if you put Hampton up against Cincinnati or Michigan State that Hampton doesn't win because they already proved they could win at Pittsburgh. Um, and they won at Florida last year. Um, so, you know, by putting yourself in that position, it should just make you stronger for, for Thursday night. Well, I know that the, you know, the, the Summit League went on the women's basketball side just got tougher because you drop a program in Centenary who was transferring to Division III, um, and then you add a South Dakota who played in postseason play last year. Um, they've got a really good history of, of women's basketball. They've been playing for a long time. They've had a lot of success. Um, and, and they come in here with some really good players. You know, they've got a couple players who, you know, they, they're going to start 6'1", 6'4", in there. Um, uh, probably the 6'1 player, um, Heggy, I think you pronounced her last name, Heggy, um, is probably one of the best forwards we've gone against. You know, she's athletic. She shoots a three. She takes the ball to the basket. She causes a lot of problems because she's 6'1". And then they've got some other juniors and seniors out front, um, so they've got some experience, and they're coming here in here at four and zero. Now, you know, a couple of those are non-division one wins, but still, four and zero is four and zero. So you know, they were coming off postseason play last year. They're undefeated this year. Um, they've got some juniors and seniors. They're going to come in here and they're going to play um, expecting to win. You know, they play together as a unit. They, uh, they get after you with man-to-man -man defense uh, at, at, you know, at the defensive end and at the offensive end. They spread the floor out with a lot of shooters. So, you know, it's nothing that we haven't faced already, but it's a, it's a very solid basketball team that's not going to beat themselves. So we're going to have to make sure that, uh, you know, we take care of our business.